how are you? Welcome to Thursdays at 3.30 mini oil class beadworking session. So today I am wearing my readers because I am working with a tiny speck of a bead, size 15 um, galvanized silvers. And especially with metallics, I'm, I feel like I'm, even with readers, I'm like, wait a minute. Am I seeing this correctly? <laughs> it's small. Uh, maybe it's time to up my reader strength. <laughs> These are those cool ones that have like the, the cell phone blue blocking. You know what I'm saying? Anyways, I am beating on these beautiful green turquoise stones and they've got this nice brown veins that go through them. I found them on Instagram and I will link their at in the caption of this video. They're called Grindstone Turquoise and if you are thinking about purchasing turquoise from Grindstone Turquoise, let me warn you, you have got to be on top of your game when they have their live sales because their turquoise sells out in seconds. Luckily, I got some at Quick Fingers. Sold! <laughs> so yay, I got some of their quality turquoise and I will link their, um, their at in the caption. Speaking of, oh, so these are like everyday earrings that I'm making, just small ones, like, yeah. You know. Speaking of everyday earrings, look at those. Oh, they're so cute. I love this bright turquoise color. I ordered these from La Gordita Designs. Hopefully I didn't butcher the name. I will link her at in the caption of this video as well. They patch my glasses. Anyways, let's get back to beading. The oil today that I want to talk about is an oil called geranium. Actually, you want to know, before we get into the oil, I wanted to show you something. Remember last week I was showing you the hide alternative, the leather hide alternative? I'm going to use that on these angel wings that I beaded. And I wanted to show you what it looks like on. So it looks like leather. Can you see that? Is my phone working? Yeah, it looks like leather. So I'm going to edge these up and it looks like it's backed in leather when it's really faux leather. It's like an upholstery faux leather. I got that at Joanne Fabrics a couple years ago. I'm not sure if they carry it anymore. So you could try um, just searching like upholstery, like faux leather upholstery in white and you should be able to find something. Okay, back to the oil. The oil today I wanna to talk about is geranium. And the reason why I wanted to come on and talk about geranium is because it's a wood tick repellent. It's a natural wood tick repellent for humans and dogs. I'm not sure cats. I would assume it's safe for cats as well, but let me get a little bit more info on that. Um, so geranium. To me, it smells like, I don't know if I really like the smell. <laughs> it's one of those oils that changes on your skin too. So in the bottle, in the bottle to me, it smells like floral grapefruit. Like it's kind of a potent smell. Insects do not like this geranium. Its chemical makeup is high in, in this compound called Citron, citra something, not citronella, but something that sounds similar to citronella. Anyways, bugs don't like it, especially wood ticks. So what you're going to want to do is take about 10 to 20 drops of this mixed with like a distilled water in a glass spray bottle. You can find glass spray bottles on doTERRA's website, also Amazon and Oil Life. Do not use plastic spray bottles. Essential oils will eat the plastic eventually or make it like disintegrate. So you're going to want to have a glass spray bottle and just spray down like the cuffs of your pants. It's fine if it gets on your skin. With dogs, I would spray 
probably his legs and down his spine before I would take him out into the woods. I'm from Wisconsin, so there are a lot of wood ticks. My husband's found a few on himself already, and we are getting prepared for wood tick season, even though it's already here. <laughs> so this oil has a really cool story as well. Um, it's actually sourced, so it grows naturally in the South South Africa from what I read, but doTERRA does not get their geranium oil from South Africa. They actually grow it in Madagascar and Kenya. And today I want to talk about the story behind growing this oil in Kenya. So doTERRA found out that Kenya has really great growing potential. They have a 365 day per year growing season and a 12 hour like sunlight schedule. So the plants are get 12 hours of sunlight a day. That's a lot. <laughs> so doTERRA went and they bought this huge plot of land and they started growing geranium. So in here in the United States, geranium is a, um, an annual. So once you, once you pick the plant and once the growing season for this plant is over, that plant is done. It's not a perennial that comes back on its own year after year. So these are planted in Kenya through seeds. And what doTERRA did is they bought this huge plot of land for farming. They provided the farmers with seeds. So they bought this huge plot of land and they leased it out to farmers. And these farmers, they taught them how to grow geranium from seeds. They taught them how to care for it. They taught them how to harvest it. And then they gave them this savings account. Now, their profits from harvesting ger geranium were put into the savings account and they the savings account is for obviously to provide for their families, but also to save up to buy the plot of land that they are farming on. So once they have enough money to buy that plot of land, they are now landowners and their profits for growing this geranium is much higher. And they started with, I want to say a couple hundred farmers, and now they have thousands of farmers in Kenya who now are landowners and are able to provide for their families. I just love doTERRA's sourcing stories. It's it's why it's like why I fell in love with doTERRA. Obviously their, their oils are fantastic, but their sourcing stories and what good they do for the earth and for humans is what made me really fall in love with it. So yeah, hope you enjoyed that story. That's really all I had to talk about today. So stay tuned for these finished, uh, what do you call it? Oh, what is that word that starts with an M that means minimal, but it's not minimal? Minimalist, that's it, for these minimalist, everyday, turquoise earrings. I hope you guys are having a good day. Oh, by the way, I don't know if you guys knew this or not, but I do sell doTERRA products. So if you are interested in getting started in essential oils or want to be sampled anything, let me know. I would love to work with you and teach you more in depth about oils. So I hope you guys are having a good day. I will see you next week, Thursday, for our mini oil session, mini oil class beadworking session. <laughs> Have a good day, you guys. Talk to you later.